Hey guys, welcome back to another nursing video. Today, I want to share this amazing information to all our registered nurses out there. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Disclaimer, I am not affiliated with their company. I am just here to tell you guys that they are directly hiring overseas registered nurses. For further information, you can directly contact their HR or Miss Angelica. I will leave her details down below. She reached out to me and gave me this wonderful opportunity to share with you guys that they are hiring registered nurses overseas. I am honored and thrilled at the same time because this is one of the reasons why I made nursing videos on this channel to help my fellow nurses. So this is it guys, I'll make it brief, we'll make it straight to the point. If you are interested in moving in New Zealand, this video is for you. So FYI, before we start, they are not a recruitment agency. They are a care home. Their name is Rageous Care. They have 24 facilities all over New Zealand. So all they require is two years registered nurse experience and a past English exam. So it's either IELTS or OET. So for OET, you must achieve a minimum score of 350 for reading, listening, and speaking, and a minimum score of 300 for writing. For IELTS, it should be academic. You must achieve a minimum score of 7 for reading, listening, and speaking, and a minimum score of 6.5 for writing. So in the Philippines, they are hiring through Polo Accredited Agency, but in other countries, they are hiring directly. With regards to your experience, any area of nursing will do. They are willing to train you as long as you have that two years of nursing experience. With or without cap letter is okay, but of course with cap letter is ideal because it will be way faster for you guys to become a registered nurse here in New Zealand. The New Zealand government sponsors CAP now. So what is CAP? Competency Assessment Program. I've mentioned that in one of my videos before, so you can just check that out. So Regis Care works with Lonsdale with regards to CAP. Bottom line, you don't have to pay anything for CAP. Amazing, right? During my time, I think I paid around 11,000 New Zealand dollars just for CAP alone. Crazy, right? All you need to pay for is your CGFNS, that is the verifications of all your credentials. That's gonna be 300 US dollars. Nursing Council application and processing fee is 485 New Zealand dollars. Your English exams, OET is 587 Australian dollars. And IELTS ranges between 245 to 255 US dollars. Now I know you wanted to ask about the salary. It depends on your experience, so it may really differ. But just to give you an idea, for healthcare assistance, which you will be, because you will still have to undergo your cap here, they will offer you around 28 New Zealand dollars per hour. Once you become a registered nurse, it is gonna be around 32 to 39 New Zealand dollars per hour. Usually, if it's full time, it is 40 hours per week. So you do the math. So this is a permanent contract. They offer roster flexibility, discounts, career progression, and many more. So if you got an offer, please do take your time to read your contract. Everything is there. If you got any queries, please do talk to your employers about it. So if you're interested in moving in New Zealand, definitely this is a no-brainer. It's way easier to become a registered nurse here now than what we've done before because the government is giving you a free pass for doing your cap so definitely this is a big help because coming here paying for all the expenses doing your cap is not a joke i think that time for me 2020 i spent around almost 1 million pesos just to do the cap and everything so yeah if you want to become a registered nurse here if you want to live here and migrate bring your family here please do contact miss angelica i will leave all her details down below you can directly ask her your questions and your queries regarding the position and the process so yeah that's it good luck to all of you guys and yeah i wish you all the best 
I'll see you guys here. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.